in this video i am going to discuss you about the editors that you are going to use for writing python program a number of editors are available in the internet you can choose any one of them when you install python package in your machine you will get an ideally by default if you are a beginner start writing program over there and if you need packages download it from the internet uh, so let me show you some editors let's start with ideally when you install python ideally is also installed by default this makes it easy to get started in python its major feature include the python shell window interactive interpreter auto completion syntax highlighting smart indentation and a basic integrated debugger IDE is a decent ID for learning as it's lightweight and simple to use. So let me show you the IDLE. So this IDLE Python version 3.6.32 bit is already installed in my machine. Let me click on it. So, so this is the IDLE. So if you write one of the command simple print statement here int within bracket double inverted comma start h e l l o double inverted comma close bracket end if you write print hello it will give you just hello as output you can also write program from file new you can also write your code over here and there is an option for save and after saving this you can run it from here or just press a 5 to run the program next sublime text 3 sublime text editor is a popular code editor that support many languages including python it's fast highly customizable and has a huge community it has built-in support for python when you install it if you want to take input from user you have to configure it accordingly let me show you this editor So this is the sublime text tree editor let me start a program say file go to new write print hello now you have to save it just go to save option create a folder test within c drive then write within double inverted comma test dot py py is the extension of python double inverted comma end then click on save so it's look colorful so for running the python program i have set a combination of key so let me press it now look it will give you hello as an output in a different tab The next editor is Atom. It is not installed in my computer. Uh, Atom is an open source code editor developed by GitHub that can be used for Python development similar to Sublime Text. Atom is highly customizable. You can also install packages as per your need. According to me, Atom is quite easier than Sublime Text. Next, Thorny. Thorny is a Python dedicated IT that comes with python 3 built in thony is basically intended for beginners though thony is intended for beginners it has several useful features that also make it a good id for full fledged python development syntax highlighting and uh, error representation is quite good in thony next the most popular id is the pycharm it has a two version community and professional professional is purchasable and community is free PyCharm is an ID for professional developer. It is created by JetBrains, a company known for creating great software development tools. Now, if you are a beginner or a student, uh, since community is a free open source version, lightweight, uh, so you can initially start writing program with the community. Personally speaking, PyCharm is my favorite ID for Python development. One more thing for running PyCharm, at least 4 GB RAM in your machine. Otherwise, the computer may lag. So uh, the PyCharm community is installed in my computer. Let me show you the editor. Let me open the PyCharm community. 
So this is the environment of PyCharm. You can change the theme also. Let me close the existing project. So create a new project. You have to give a name over here. So I am writing test project. Keep all the setting as default and just click on create. So it will open an environment for writing program. So this is your new project. Right click on it. Create a new file, say Python file. So my first prog. So just give enter. So it will create my past prog.pi. Write print hello and nothing else. Now you can run the program, right click and run my first probe. So it will give you hello in the console. PyCharm provide all major features that a code ID should provide code completion, code inspection, error highlighting and fixes, debugging, version control system and code refracting. Next editor is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code or in short it is called VS Code is a free and open source ID created by the Microsoft that can be used for Python development. You can add extension to create a Python development environment as per your need in VS Code. VS Code is lightweight and packed with powerful features. This is reason why becoming popular among Python developer. Let me show you the VS Code also. So this is the VS Code icon. Double click on it. So this is the VS Code environment. Let me create a file. Click on File tab. Go to New File. Write down print hello double inverted comma end. Now you have to save the file just control S or you can also save it from the file tab also. I am choosing this test folder. Let me write test 2 dot py and it should be enclosed within double inverted comma just save it it has also a beautiful syntax highlighting this is the play button just click on it you will get the output over here so this is the output this line is the output after visual studio code you can also use Vim editor if you are familiar with the linux environment then i think you have a knowledge of Vim editor. This editor is already pre installed in Mac OS or Unix system or in the Linux also. For Windows, you have to download it. You can add plugins for syntax highlighting, code completion, debugging, refracting, etc. There are other IDE also there Spider, Jupyter Netbook, etc. You can also run your Python program in your mobile. So go to the Play Store and write down python interpreter and this one this one click on it it is already installed in my machine so move here this is the python interpreter click on it so here you can write your own Python, say I am writing print within double quotes, say hello. Run the program by pressing this yellow button, yellow play button, click on it. So this is the output mode. So you will get a hello over here. So just press back, again you will go back to the coding mode. So at the end, I will suggest you, if you are a beginner, you can start with IDLE or Sublime or Atom or PyCharm or Visual Studio Code, any one of them. So go to my description box, you will get the link of this editor, you can download it from there also. 
सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल ऑनलाइन टेक्निकल मैंटर एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट थैंक यू